Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Pixel back with another video. Today I'm on World Zero Literally uh, beta version right now, but this game is about to be released in five days So I'm here just to give tips to all those like newbies. They just recently updated So I doubt it's gonna be a huge update when they release it But yeah, and beta players don't get anything special uh, Which I keep in hearing which is kind of sad other than like a bit of a head start so anyway, most of you when you start, okay, let me go do this for you. We go to settings, return to main menu. Most of you when you start, you start on this thing, a Red Manta production, blah, 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 world zero. Yeah. And then once it loads your data, it's going to show you start new character and then it's going to let you choose and customize. So create new character, defender, obtainable demon. You can buy now for 800 Robux. But yeah, I suggest starting with the Arcane Mage. I already have this, so I'm just gonna see you can blah 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 and then okay, done back done accept. Yeah, there, I'm just gonna delete that. Don't worry about your uh, thing because you can always change it. I started off as an Arcane Mage as well, and then I went to Dual Wielder and all the other classes. Because of the new update, you can obtain every class. Before, right when I hit level 30, they just updated it so I couldn't collect my third class. So I have to earn all of them. But yeah, here we are, the Arcane Mage. Why I suggest this one is because it'll be the best to use, uh... Whoa, what happened? It'll be best to use farming on. When you start, you're gonna have these world quests, defeat 10 boars, side quests, and a bunch of things. You'll have to look through your spells first, so you have this one where it shoots a beam of like light or something. And then this one, it's like a pillar of fire or whatever, and all that. So what you want to do first is complete the first dungeon. So press V, dungeon 1-1 details, and then you just want to go through that and complete all of it. Once you get an item, you should you, you should get it for like a thousand gold or something sellable item so yeah you click you either go to the sell shop or you just click on that oh well i can't sell that or you click on the item and sell it once you sell that the new item upgrade your main item where you, once you sell it you go over here and you upgrade it to as high as you can that'll make the dungeon way easier so you want to go through the dungeon again and again until you can get another one and buy an egg here the egg will cost you 2000 so you want to get $2,000. Once you get the egg, you can incubate it for 30 minutes, that's just level 30. Uh, and here, I have a bunch of ones, so here, let's watch a hatch. Once you hatch it, there we go, let's watch it hatch. And I got a level 20 pet goo. Uh, I, I was just incubating that. Uh, so. If you have a, du a duplicate pet that you don't want, then you just go to Pet Master, Release Pet, Select Pet, Select Pet, and you get 20 of those. And confirm. I suggest keeping one of each pet anyways. So once you're all done the dungeons and have all your things, you want to go here and start off on your side quests. Right here. Or I guess you can't start off on your side quests just yet. But your main quest, defeat 10 stakes, defeat 10 boar wolves. You wanna uh, like farm these boar wolves till you're at least like level 8. See, this is why it's so easy. Like, you don't do as much damage as me, yeah. But look, it's super fast and when you're farming, like even if you're AFK farming, you don't move. Right? But when you're like a dual wielder or whatever, you move a lot. So you wanna kill a thousand elite boar wolves for a quest right but that's level six that's why i'm suggesting you're at least level eight before you start but you can't afk this if you're level eight it's gonna be harder when everyone's doing it too so the fastest way to get these is to join a party you want to create a party of five people that are grinding this because each party member that gets a kill counts as your kill too even if you're not there that's what i did and i got it in less than an hour but then again, this is beta, so not that many people were doing it. But when it's released, it's going to be a lot harder. So yeah, that's why you want to get a player, a party. If you if there isn't a lot of players and you want an AFK farm, I suggest just doing it here. You 
they about like four of them spawn here and you can keep on attacking them with the mage i'd say like right about here uh, or a little to the side right here and then you just keep farming it right here once you defeat a thousand you should get the mount i'm getting for free uh by a thousand you should be at least level 12 to 15 around that level if you did everything i told you earlier get level 8 to 10 minimum before you start this quest and make sure you have a party and you can solo these guys if you want to fk farm you'll need at least a lot higher level level 15. so when you start dungeons you want to do find party see if there's anyone else in the server that'll do it 30 seconds this one is pretty easy even for a level one so you're good on that i see a level 43 a level 62 they all join me see that okay now you have completed the basics of this now you want to finish all your world quests so to defeat 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 complete uh rescues of villagers these ones you should get 10 of each which is used for the next one these guys depending on which one you like i i suggest either elementalist or dual wielder i chose dual wielder i don't like guardian at all no offense to people that chose guardian but i prefer elementalist or dual wielder the last one the, is of course demon is the best but you can only unlock that from world 5 or spending 800 robux but the berserker clad in major light you need to world 3 or i think you can also go on world 4 and do this you wanna i'm gonna go for berserker right when i get it because of all these it's a dual wielder class as well this is a higher version so yeah now once you get that you'll have to upgrade 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 i'm gonna switch to dual wielder real quick there we go there we go the crap runs. now you see this you see i'll make a video about all the warps soon about from world one to three you guys want to check that out so yeah we have the crap run so you want to go to the beach side i need to unlock that warp i, I know where it is but i need to unlock it anyways you want to go to the beach side uh while the crab prince spawns i suggest getting rid of as many crabs as you can just here we go and then while you do this, you'll be leveling up, getting XP till the crap prince spawns. I suggest you don't do this alone if you're low level. It's very hard if you're a low level. This one is, yeah. All the way up there should be another warp somewhere around there. Yeah. But once you complete this guy, you'll get his crown and a bunch of XP. Defeat crabs around the beach, you want to kill 30 of those guys. Go to world 2, la la la, dire wolf, dungeon. Elite Boar Wolves, 15 Dungeon, Dungeon, 10 Snakes, you want to do all that, you want to do all this before moving on to the next world. Just saying, you'll make it the best option, it's your best option. There's someone right here. There we go. So once you're done that, you want to move on to world 2. For, yeah. So by then you should be somewhat of a pro. If you complete everything. Remember, you want to feed your pet and upgrade it. If you're just planning on AFKing, I suggest putting your pet in the incubator and leveling it up. It takes time, but if you're AFKing, it doesn't really matter, right? So yeah. Once you're done all the world quests, you should be able to unlock world 3. I'm mean, sorry, world 2. And once you're done all that, world 3, world 4, world 5. I haven't unlocked world 5 yet, but I have unlocked world 4. Yeah. These ones are RHS and Kasha. Make sure you do your daily quest every single day. You get loads of items from them. I got the VIP and some 500 and I spent it, which was a stupid idea. I wouldn't suggest buying this. Alright guys, I wouldn't suggest buying these really. Because they're, unless you're very, very rich, they're just cosmetics. But the mounts are pretty cool though. I, I would get those. I got the RS, which is sick kinda not really depending on which aura you get i got a meh meh one here see look on my right sword do you see those bubbles those are my aura hey don't distract me anyway there's a mob here you should want to get rid of all of them just suggesting that like i said earlier before you move on to the world too anyway these are the most basic tips i can give you guys on Starting up after World 2 you should be a pro and you should know what to do I'll make a video about all the warps you need, but anyways. Thank you all for watching. 
subscribe if you're new hit that like button and that notification bell and peace out